Hey guys, and welcome to the hottest day of the year again. Hi Lulu. You can see Sets, Nugget and Bean Bean have decided to seek shelter today. I'm not sure if it's like some old natural instinct that as soon as it gets hot, the guinea pigs kind of seek shelter under willow bridges and hides, and are not as much out in the open where they think it gets less hot because they're kind of seeking shelter from the sun. But it's very obvious that pretty much all of the guinea pigs are all staying in their hides today. Because usually my guinea pigs just sleep anywhere in the cage. Some prefer hides and some just plop down wherever. And for the past couple of days, all of them were pretty much seeking shelter. <laughs> Bless you, Nugget. Oh, I'm so sorry, Fitz. You, I think you need your freedom bowl refilled, right? I'm on it, Fitz. There you go, Fitz. I have prepared some frozen water bottles for the guinea pigs, which I'm going to put in the cage now. The guinea pigs so far this year have not figured out how to use them. The past couple of years, most of them started using them. I know that Bean Bean and Nugget and Lumi technically know how these work, but for some reason the guinea pigs have not made much use of them this year. Nugget, where do we put this one? Let's put it here just right in the middle so that you guys maybe get motivated to sleep next to it. It is hot here. Today it's around 36 degrees Celsius out here. It usually doesn't matter as much how hot it is if it's only one hot day, but it's been this hot for the past four or five or six days, I wanna say, and it's supposed to stay this way till Friday. We don't have air conditioning. If it's that hot, it doesn't really cool down during the night anymore. So the room doesn't really cool down anymore, even if you open the windows first thing in the morning at like 5 a.m. Yes, Lumi, have you figured out how this works? Like even Fitz doesn't really want to move anymore. I think Lulu has given up. The guinea pigs are just really tired. They pretty much are sleeping all day. They're definitely not big fans of the heat. Gatsby came towards the gate yesterday in the evening at like 11 p.m. and she just started licking my hand and she looked really tired and sad. She just looked at me like she was saying, just please make it cold in this room. So we have the frozen water bottles. I have tons of lettuce and cucumber and just refreshing snacks for the guinea pigs. But that is pretty much all that we can do. I think definitely for next year, we we'll probably need a portable AC unit. And I also just borrowed a fan, but since the fan doesn't really cool down the room or anything, it just produces wind. I'm actually not really sure if it really helps the guinea pigs since their skin is covered in fur. So if any of you know whether it helps them, please let me know in the comments. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty happy to say that Nugget has figured out how the water bottle works. And the Lumi seems to be relaxing there as well. Great job, piggies. So it's just giving off miserable heat wave vibes. Oh, poor Fitz. Oh my gosh, Lulu, you look miserable. You poor thing. Try one of the water bottles. Yeah, I don't think Lulu wants to move. And then Bean Bean, since she's the oldest, she probably has the most trouble with the heat. She definitely looks like it, like her eyes look extremely tired and she's just kind of... If she doesn't come to the hay rack as often, she just prefers to lie down, which of course is her prerogative, so I fold the hay rack right next to her, full of hay, so she doesn't have to move a lot. <laughs> she's just lying there hoping for better days. Like I'm trying to crawl into the water bottle. <laughs> Yay! You're mo you're using it. I'm so happy Nugget got it. Yeah, 
you know it's hot when the foot is out. <laughs> Bimin has declared it's way too hot today. Loom is too lazy to push a bean out. I think Nugget is probably the only one right now who's really comfortable because she seems pretty happy with our frozen water bottle. Piggies, do it like Nugget does! Even Lulu's sticking her foot out. <laughs> this hairy thing over there is Lulu's foot. Then, then we have Nugget over here living her best life and enjoying a portable AC. Okay, piggies, I'm preparing some floating cucumbers for you. Lulu, would you please stop eating my wedding band? I think Nugget really wants a flowing cucumber. There you go. There you go, piggies. Some cucumber and water for you. Hey, Bimin. Water bottle. There you go. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really sure if serving the guinea pigs cucumber in water really does anything. Probably not. I don't think it really cools them down, but I think an extra source of water, I mean it's basically another just it's basically just another water dish or water bowl. An extra source of water is probably always a good idea in summer. Fitz is just loving this game of fish a cucumber out of a dish of water. Like, it is that hot out, my mom's candle just absolutely melted. It turned into a small little puddle. Well, I did not see this coming. Lumi, maybe that is cooling you down then. Lumi just sat on the water dish <laughs> and just put all of her paws and her belly on the water dish. Well, that definitely is cooling. Lulu, you're using it too. Okay, I take it back. Maybe it is cooling after all. And uh, now it's a dirty water dish. <laughs> Hi, Beamin. And I'm happy to report that Fitz has now figured out how to use the frozen water bottle. And Lumi's still too lazy to push out her beans. Well, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys next time. Bye!